<laughs> All right. So, um, for the sake of time, I'm not gonna I'm not gonna go over every single problem like we normally do. Okay, guys, the talking is over. We're coming back together now. All right. Uh, so I'm not going to spend time going through every single problem on this worksheet. This is a lesson we technically have already learned, uh, so it shouldn't need too much clarification. I'm only going to go over the evens, um, and then I'll post the answer key to the odds for you to check uh, at home once you get this worksheet back if you want to. And I'm sure you guys all did great. So number two, actually, yeah. So number two. Our y-intercept is going to be where? Where's our y-intercept in number two? Up at five, right? Way up here at the top. And then it looks like we got another point right here. There's a point right there, and there's a point right there. So again, it doesn't matter which two points you pick because the slope is going to be the same either way, right? We're going to rise downward, one, two, three, and we're going to run over one. Negative 3 over 1 gives us negative 3. Plug it into our slope intercept form and we get negative 3x plus 5. Oh, you couldn't even see any of that. Why didn't someone let me know? Oh, whoops. So we're going to talk about number four, but real quick on number three, um, check real quick to make sure your points are up at four and then way down there at the very end of the line. If you put a dot right at negative three on the x-axis, it's really close, but that's not actually a point. It doesn't cross evenly. So if you got something like, what would this be, four over three for a slope on number three, go ahead and double check that and make sure, because uh, m here does not equal 4 over 3. So if you got 4 over 3 in number 3, uh, check that and try again. Okay, because the points are right there and right there. I know it's kind of hard to see. That's why we're talking about it. Number 4, our y-intercept is right there at the origin, which is nice. And it looks like we only have a point right over here in the corner and right over here in the corner. Rise up two, run over one, two, three, four, five. M is going to be two fifths. So because our y-intercept here is zero, we don't need to write plus zero on the end. It's fine if you do because I'll I'll know that you know what it means. But just to clean things up, let's write it like this: y equals two fifths x. Can anyone tell me what type of relationship this is? Thinking back to last unit, Noah. Proportional, Proportional right? It's the straight line right through the origin. So we're going to use the form y equals kx. It's just y equals mx plus b. No need for a b. Right? Number six, it looks like our y-intercept's right there at negative one. That's our step one. Uh, here's a point right there and right there. Nice and evenly spaced out so we know that works. We're going to rise down two and over one, two, three, four. Negative 2 over 4 gives us negative 1 half. So our equation looks like this. So we get rid of the plus b and just replace it with minus 1 because we're adding a negative 1. Right? I just skipped the whole plus next to the minus step, but we all know how that works. Questions on the front side of this so far? Okay. Number eight on the back, our y-intercept is where? Anyone know where our y-intercept is at here? Negative one. Sorry, I'm talking about number eight, not number seven. Negative one, and then we got a point down here and right up here again. So our m is going to be negative two over five, down two over five, negative two fifths x minus 1 again because our y-intercept is below the origin we know it's negative we'll just subtract that number off on the end of our equation 
Sorry, I'll slow down. Okay. Down to number 10. Our y intercepts right there at negative 2. Um, this one right here almost looks like a point. Right here, I'm putting it. That almost looks like a point, but it's not quite a point, so let's not use that one. Let's see. I only see this one way up here in the top corner for number 10. I don't think any of the other ones cross exactly where we need them to cross. So let's see. We're going to rise 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7 down, and 1, 2, 3, 4 to the right. Can we simplify negative 7 over 4 at all? No, definitely not. y equals negative 7 over 4x, once again with a minus 2, because of that negative y-intercept, right? Moving down to number 12, y-intercepts way, way up here at 5. The other point, anyone see another point? What do they get for their second point on number 12? Negative 3. Negative 3? Right there? Yeah, that looks perfect. So we'll rise up 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 over 3. Y equals 5 thirds X. Now we're doing plus 5 on the end because our Y intercept is positive. And finally, number 14, we got another nice proportional relationship. Goes right through the origin. Anyone see another point here? Someone give me some coordinates for a point. Negative 3, negative 3. Perfect. Any other points? Negative 2, negative 2. Perfect. Any more? Yeah, there's going to be a whole bunch, right? Look at all these points. So you see how that line cuts through each tiny little square diagonally, perfect, from one corner to the next? Yeah. That tells us right away uh, that we've got this special line here, right? Because we have a y-intercept of 0, and we have a slope of 1 over 1. What does that simplify to? 0? Oh, 1. Okay, good. So if we plug this in, we get y equals 1x plus 0. Right? Thumbs up if you got y equals 1x plus 0 there for that last one. Good. Anyone simplify this equation at all? Yeah? Alexa, what would you get for the simplified equation? Bingo! y equals x. Whatever your y coordinate is, 1, your x coordinate is also going to be 1. We got 2, 2, 3, 3, 4, 4, 5, 5, and all the negatives as well. So whatever your y is, your x is also that number. Our equation is y equals x. It's as proportional as a relationship is going to get. Questions about worksheet 25? How do we feel about our ability to take a graph that doesn't have any points on it? and then get our equation. Thumbs up if you're feeling nice and confident. Thumbs sideways if you're feeling kind of still got some questions about it. And uh, thumbs down if... No, actually no thumbs down. Thumbs up or thumbs sideways. Where are you at? Okay. I see mostly thumbs up. A couple sideways. That's alright. If you still need some help with this, I'll be tutoring after school on Monday from 3 to 4 right in here. Um, and yeah. Go and get your notebooks out, flip to a clean sheet of paper. Can you give this worksheet to whoever's in seat number one? I'll come by and grab it once you, uh, while you guys are getting your notes started up, okay? So we're changing gears here a little bit. We're not going to be looking at graphs today, thank God.